Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and today is all about what is multi casting. Uh, someone from my YouTube channel left me a comment and they wanted me to show them how to enable it. And it's really simple. So let's get into our MDT console or our deployment workbench. And the first thing you need to do is right click on the primary node of your MDT deployment share node, right? You want to go to properties. Off the bat, once you're inside the Genu tab, uh, this right here, enable multicast for this deployment share requires Windows Server 2008 R2, Windows Deployment Services. And you know I have WDS already installed because that's the way I love pushing out my images. Uh, you got to make sure that this just check off. By default, it's not checked off. Uh, check it off, apply, okay. And I would, like, I would normally do right click, update the deployment share, and just completely regenerate your boot images. That's what I like to do. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to. You probably could just get away with the update. But if you guys just do the update and it still works out, let me know at the comment section. So once you do all that stuff, I'm going to cancel out because I already updated the deployment. We want to open up our WDS server. Again, I'm doing everything on a Windows Server 2012 environment. And from here, you're going to see multicast transmissions. Now, you don't really need to do anything within the uh, Windows deployment share. But... Once you deploy your first uh, client or your image to a client, you're going to see the multicast transmission have uh, your MDT share deployment share. It's, it's going to pop up automatically. Uh, I was testing it out. That's why it's there. So what we're going to do is I have a dummy image. As you can see, let's go inside our MDT and I don't have any machines or any clients. Now, the whole purpose for multicast is if you have a, um, a, a, a slow bandwidth problem within your LAN, and, but you still have to push out 10 or 20 machines, this right here will allow you to manipulate or view which machine is having um, the more bandwidth. Uh, it it kind of splits it up evenly. So that's one of the things I like about it. The only problem with it is if you have 10 machines and those 10 machines are getting the image, uh, it's going to be really, really slow, okay? Because it sends out it sends out the image in bytes. Okay, so from here, we're going to go into our dummy image. We're going to power this on. And I'm going to cl click F12 like an ad man, like a madman. Let's just press F12. Ah, F12. There you go. I'm going to boot for my 64 bits. Uh, I don't. It's not going to automatically show up. I think the time when it shows up is when you're deploying your image to the client. So I could do a refresh like a madman. You won't see any clients right now. So let's go back here to loading up. Once it loads up, I'm going to go and click away with the dialog boxes. And then when you're at the very end of deploying your image, when you hit finish and it starts processing like... Um, partitioning your, your hard drive and formatting it and pushing out the image or your Windows operating system. Uh, that's when over here within your WDS client right here and that multicast transmissions, you are going to see a client attached to it. Okay, so it looks like it's processing. Let's run the deployment wizard to install. It's uh, processing all the defaults, gathering all the information. Awesome. We're going to push, let's just push Windows 10 for this for now. Uh, again, let's go inside my MDT, my WDS. I'm going to refresh it for you guys. As you can see, no client has been attached to it as yet. The only reason why is because I haven't fully finalized the deployment. So let's click on next. Uh, let's give it a name, BJ-Dump, because this is a dump. It's a temporary machine. Next. No, next. And uh, it's going to process. It's going to gather all the information. You guys are already used to this. But now because you enable your multitask, you're going to see this right here change. Uh, right now, it's preparing the disk zero, which is the primary partition. Once that's complete, you should see right here saying multitask or multi multicask. So let it install an operating system. And there you go. Attempting to multitask, multicast the transfer. So let's go back into our MDT slash WDS server. And I'm going to refresh it one more time. And as you can see, this is what you get. This is pretty awesome. So it gives you a status, all the percentage of how, uh, where is that. Uh, you got the time connected. Uh, you have the user identified. Which user is uh, actually... Um, log in to your deployment. This is pretty awesome. The IP address that is assigned to, the transfer rates, uh, CPU utilization, memory utilization, network, 
master client. It gives you so much information. And this portion right here in the multicast was never this detailed uh, within the Windows 2008. I don't think so. But 2012, they did a good job. Now, you can't really do much. You can right-click. The only, the only options that you have is either disconnect the client, which will stop the deployment, or bypass. Now, let's go back over here. Let's go into our, our virtual machine. As you can see, it's 5%. Now, let's say I just want to right-click and bypass the multitask. So what's going to happen is it's just going to go straight off. Let's go here. And they do it. Let's right-click, bypass the multitask, successfully drop the client to unicast mode. And let's click on that. And right now, it is applying it. It bypassed the multicast. And then right now, it's just applying the settings. It's just installing the operating system and that's it and that's it guys that is what multicasting is all about uh is is for users or it people that are dealing with a slow network and you need to push out a bunch of clients at the same time and you don't want to kill your 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 bandwidth uh this is the best way to do it uh you multicast it it basically it, it throttles the bandwidth of pushing out the operating systems to your machines, right? Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.